Fox News getting an unprecedented look inside a Navy research lab. Investigators there are now looking into problems with the life support systems in some jets. The planes under investigation include the T-45 training jet. In April, some pilots were so concerned for their own safety and those of their fellows on these jets that they refused to fly them. Leah Gabriel's here. She's a former Navy fighter pilot herself. What, what's happening in this training facility? Well, Chef, we've been keeping a very careful eye on these problems, and I visited Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland. It is the headquarters for where Navy does research, development, test, and evaluation for its aircraft. It's also the heart of where the Navy is trying to solve these problems. Take a look. This is a breathing regulator, uh, which would control uh, the flow of oxygen up through the hose to the mask. So every time you take a breath, this regulator would allow the oxygen to flow uh, to the mask. At this altitude systems laboratory, experts like Dennis Gorge are working with the Navy to address what are known as physiological episodes, which are when pilots become impaired while flying, sometimes because they're breathing bad air. The issue has been jeopardizing flights in the T-45 trainer and the F-18 Hornet at an increasing rate. When a jet has an oxygen problem, the Navy pulls the equipment out of the jet and brings it here to Patuxent River. For example, this component is an oxygen concentrator from a T-45. Each component of the system is evaluated for its own performance. This lab will put all those components together to look to see how it did as a system. In fact, they can replicate the exact flight profile where a problem was reported to determine what went wrong with the systems. So this chamber is uh, the simulated cockpit. And, and so uh, this chamber would be uh, the pressurized portion uh, of the aircraft. Uh, this chamber, uh, as you can see, has got two breathing simulators, mechanical breathing simulators. We've collected a tremendous amount of data. Now we're getting into the analysis, and that's starting to inform some of the things that we think we need to address. Navy Admiral Select Sarah Joyner was handpicked by the top brass to address physiological episodes. She's been on the job since late August and says that they have been making modifications like adding a new carbon monoxide removal tool, and T-45s have a new warning system for pilots. What was your feeling when you were asked to take over this, you know, being somebody who's been out there flying jets and, and being in the midst of combat operations? I think when I looked at it is the trust and confidence given to me to do this mission. This is probably the most important thing that's going on in naval aviation. I couldn't feel anything other than a heavy responsibility uh, combined with, you know, just really wanting to lean into the problem and get to work. Admiral Select Joyner says the Navy is leaning into this problem. T-45s that have been modified are flying again, although several incidents have been reported. As for F-18s, they never stopped flying, although they have the issues as well. It's a more complex system. And, Chef, they say unconstrained resources going into this. Unconstrained resources. Right. That's good news. Leah, thank you.